can be an ideal ground for building the 21st century socio-economic development system in India. Further, Mr. Sam Petroda, chairman of the National Innovation Fund, focusing on inclusive businesses in his keynote address at Sankal 2011, highlighted the importance of creating an innovation roadmap for India with a focus on inclusive growth for this decade. He said that they especially wanted to encourage platforms such as the Sankal Forum, which are engaged in driving innovation and entrepreneurship at the bottom of the pyramid. While both these statements, coming from two of the most admired intellectuals in this country, placed a very high expectation on us at the Sankal Forum, it has been an expectation that we, that we are happy to commit to. We have worked with greater energy and even more dedication this year to make Sankalp into a platform that encourages entrepreneurship, social enterprise business models, and builds a more holistic ecosystem for the growth of both. Sankalp Summit has always been about catalyzing impact investments into sustainable, scalable enterprises globally. For those of you who are new to the Sankalp community, we started in 2009 with support from the Rockefeller Foundation and about 10 other network partners. The Sankal Forum has been designed as a collaborative platform and this year includes over 35 network partners that have furthered our aim to discover, support and connect sustainable and investable social business models with investors. In these four years, Sankalp has seen some early success in showcasing path-breaking, innovative double bottom line enterprises. We have captured the attention of impact investors globally. And I'm happy to share that Sankalp has catalyzed collaboration and investments between enterprises, incubators, investors, networks, and thought leaders. The platform also actively engages the participation of policymakers, think tanks, corporations, service providers, and academicians. In terms of milestones that we have achieved, we have in three years connected over 400 social enterprises, over 400 investors and funders, and 10,000 other stakeholders from across the world. In the past three years, more than two dozen of our enterprises have received investments, and over 160 others have, made, have been made investment ready through mentoring and capacity building programs. We are bigger and better, and with your active involvement, Sankal Forum is now recognized as Asia's leading social enterprise and investment forum. This past year has been marked with more intense engagement from our end with our stakeholders. We conducted capacity building workshops, investor enterprise clinics, thematic roundtables, and focused networking meetings. We have also put together two research publications focused on the social enterprise space in India. Both of these reports are to be launched today and tomorrow at the Sankalp Summit. While these are all important and exciting activities, what is more exciting is that we have all of you here today and tomorrow to discuss emerging trends and to recognize promising social enterprise models through the Sankalp Awards. I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome new members to the Sankalp Network from Southeast Asia. You would notice in your guidebook that we have finalists from Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, and Lao PDR. I hope that like us, you will find these two exciting and enriching. I hope that you will enjoy listening and interacting with thought leaders and with the amazing, amazing entrepreneurs who are really the driving force behind Sankalp Summit and all our work. Once again, a heartfelt welcome to all of you to the fourth annual Sankalp Summit. Please keep the conversations going and the energy high. Thank you.